thanks for joining me again. This is um, my second video um, to do with nerve cells and to do with the nervous system. So last time we were looking at um, how the nervous system was organised. The first thing we're going to look at today are the three types of nerve cells or neurons. Um, so the first type is called a sensory neuron. Now a sensory neuron, that takes an impulse from a receptor, which is something that detects a stimulus, and that takes it to our central nervous system. So if you remember from last time, your central nervous system is made up of your spinal cord and your brain. The second of which, which is a relay neuron, which carries messages from one bit of your central nervous system to another. This is usually shown in diagrams on a, um, a spinal cord. The motor neuron um, is one that carries it from the central nervous system to an effector. Now an effector is something we haven't come across yet. An effector is an organ which brings about a response. So for instance it might be the muscle that might contract or it might be um, the muscle in the iris that causes the pupil to dilate, something of that nature. So a reflex arc, um, essentially we're going to discuss this and show how the three types of neurons can all work together. So if we use a situation of you putting your hand on something hot and that causing a reflex where you basically whip your hand away from the hot object very very quickly um, we can see how these three types of neurons interact with one another so if we think about the first thing that would happen if you put your hand on let's say a hot plate the first thing that would happen is that would be picked up by a receptor that receptor might be um, the temperature receptors in your hand the temperature receptors in your hand would then generate an impulse in the sensory neuron and that would send that impulse along the sensory neuron through the cell body um, and along the dendrites. You've got this section here which is a gap between the sensory neuron and the relay neuron and that's known as a synapse. The synapse is something which we'll come on to discuss later or possibly in a later video. But that impulse would then be generated um, in the relay neuron and again it would pass through here, pass through the cell body, down to here along the dendrites and again to another synapse which again is another gap. That can then generate an impulse in the motor neuron which travels down to here and if you remember the motor neuron connects up the central nervous system to an effector. So what would happen would be that your hand would lift off. The motor neuron which is connected to the muscles in your arm would cause the muscle to contract and you'd lift your hand away. Okay, so with the reflex arc, the first thing that happens is the hand comes into contact um, with something hot, and in this case, something hot is the candle. Um, the stimulus, which is the change in the environment, which is the heat in this case, that's picked up by a receptor in the hand, or a pain receptor in the hand, and this can then send the impulse up the sensory neuron towards the central nervous system. Now, the central nervous system um, is the brain and the spinal cord, and this bit of the diagram here represents the spinal cord. So... As the impulse comes in through the sensory neuron, there's a gap here, and this gap, again, is a synapse. Um, the next step is the impulse is then generated into a relay neuron, which is this green one here. And this relay neuron forks into two sections. Um, one um, that goes up to the brain and that triggers a center in the brain which is related to pain. And the second part relays it towards the motor neuron. And so this is only going through the spinal cord. It then gets to another synapse which generates an impulse which goes through the motor neuron and arrives at the effector. The effector in this case being the muscle. This causes the muscle to contract and it pulls the hand away from the heat. This is known as a reflex arc because it doesn't involve the brain. It only involves the spinal cord. Okay, to sum up then, um, your sensory neuron, those connect up a receptor to your central nervous system which then connect up to a relay uh, neuron, which connects parts of the central nervous system. Again, these are mostly represented in diagrams within the spinal cord. You then have motor neurons, and those connect up the central nervous system to an effector. And an effector is something which carries out, or an organ which carries out a response, something like a muscle or a gland. And the synapses, which are the gaps between the neurons, um, and we'll come on and look at those in the next video.